Hello everybody, uh, today I have decided to play one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games ever made. Uh, one of the very few Game Boy Advance games I've ever beaten. I've only beaten like, uh, like a handful. So we're going to be playing Castlevania Aria of Sorrow for the second uh, multi or multiplayer, single player series. Got this show confused with another one. Uh, well. Uh... Huh, uh, let's... Oh, whoops. Well, time to hit reset. <laughs> and I am emulating this, so... Uh, just to let you guys know. Uh, let's delete data. Uh, let's delete this first one, because it just doesn't matter to me. There we go. Now, uh... I'll just bumpkin. Because I'm from the south, and people say bumpkin all the time, because I'm from the south. Good old skull for good measure. There we go. The year is 2035, Japan. Cra I'm just gonna let you guys read this because I don't feel like reading it, honestly. I have a stiffly, sniffly, snoofily nose, and I sounded gay. Um, but <laughs> I sounded like some like like something from Little Britain. Oh, uh, I just watched that for a little bit this morning for the first time. Like, uh, if you guys have ever seen Little Britain, it's a sketch comedy uh, show that takes place in Britain. There's also a US version, I believe. And it's hilarious. It's one of the funniest things I've ever watched. Um, I actually just texted Cole, like it's like eight in the morning, and I'm just like, hey Cole, uh, check this out. I actually told him to watch, uh, what was it? Like, uh, uh, I have to check the messages real quick to make sure. Mitchell and Webb. And I, 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 there was one sketch I really liked is, like, are we the enemies or something like that? It showed them, like, like in World War II Nazi territory and everything. And, oh, this is so great. Uh, um. Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? What happened? So you decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant nap? Huh? Who the heck are you? It's okay, Silva. His name is Kenya Arikado. He's here to progress the story because they did not care to see that how we got trapped into the thing. It might have said it in the opening text, but I don't know. Skip the introductions. That's what I was just saying. That's what I just did. I have a few questions. I need answers now. Go, go ahead. Why have you come here? Why, well, uh, Mira and I, hey, hey, where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Huh? You fuck over me. <laughs> no, we are inside the solar eclipse. Okay, now you're just, like, you're insane. Do you, do you think me for a fool? Summer, listen to him, he's telling you the truth. That's like the best girl voice I can do. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's like this. Huh? An enemy to interrupt me so I can't progress the story. <laughs> oh. I'll kill them all. But you reap the benefits. Oh, wait, no. Actually, no. He kills. There you go. What was that thing? What twas? So it has awakened. What? What has? The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. Why, why would I have that power? You have gained the power. Now you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master's chamber. Then you will understand everything. But I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I'll put up a protective barrier. He just <laughs> just takes like his like jacket and goes to like the first doorway that monsters can come through. And he just puts like a couple push pins in there like they will never get past this. I have protected the girl. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. Kind of like whenever you don't have a door to your room or something like that and you put up a little sheet. And then, and then I... Yes, only you can save her from painful death. And you? What will you do? 
I do. What is wrong with your voice? <laughs> I too have things I must do within these castle walls. Go, set forth. Both you, uh, both your own life and hers are at stake. And he. Wow, I can initiate a text box in the air. So, this is a Metroidvania style game. This is one of the best Castlevania games. And I actually just watched a review on the game earlier, uh, yesterday. I mean, I've already seen that review before, but I wanted to watch it again because it was kind of good. Uh, it was by someone called uh, Picaspri. And he usually does like this really cool show that I like called uh, Soft Lock Picking, which is usually Pokemon based where you. Uh, where someone could set up a soft lock where you can't progress in the game, but he always finds a way out of it, so hence the lock picking part. Um, but he did a video on this here, on this game here, uh, and this is like <laughs> the selling point of this game was that it takes place in the future. And I know I'm not supposed. To, I I, sh I could just skip all this, but I'm trying to get a new soul. I don't think I can yet. Actually, I think I have to wait till later. Um, but like one of the selling points of the game was that this game takes place in the future, 2035, when all the other ones take place in like like 1497, four, or 1009 or something like that. And it's just, this takes place in 2035, but at the same time, why? Like, cause, Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to go here yet. Whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out where we're supposed to go. Um, I got a pendant, though, which is really good. Even though we won't keep it for long, because there's a glitch that I know how to do. It's a really nice... Yeah, I'm not supposed to go here yet. Um, there is there is a health recovery item down there, but you won't need it. Especially after a certain point in the game. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but... Like, all the other games take place in, like, early time periods and stuff like that, yet this one's, like, 2035, and that was, like, the main selling point of this game. And it makes no sense. Because it doesn't, like, have anything to do with the time era. It was just like, hey, we're just gonna say this takes place in 2035, when it clearly just doesn't matter what time place it- or what- what place in time it took- uh, ah, oh, whatever. Uh, this is actually my second favorite Castlevania game. I, I, I'm a huge fan of the Castlevania series, and no, my first isn't Symphony of the Night. I've never beaten it. I do have it. I have it on virtual, uh, not virtual console, uh... Ah, oh, fuck. Um, but I, ha I have it because Cole has it on a PSN and we, we game share on PS3. Uh, that's the first boss. I don't want to go there yet. Need some more experience up first. There we go. Uh, oh, can I get his ability, please? Damn it. Okay, whatever. Oh yeah, so we got an ability earlier. Back dash. Um. But uh, what was I saying? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay, this is. If you keep your distance, he won't throw his club down. He'll usually just shoot fireballs. And it makes it very easy. There we go. And this is like a really easy boss fight. Um. But, uh, I just didn't really get into Symphony of the Night that much. It wasn't for me. Also, because when I first played this one, I actually, I'm, I'm, you guys know I'm running it emulation, like, through emulation, because I have no other way to record it. Um, I mean, unless I had, like, a, I don't have a GameCube, uh, I want one, but the only way I could play it through, uh, like, like, legitimately and record it is if I had a GameCube and the Game uh, Boy adapter, and I did have a Game Boy adapter and a GameCube at one point, but I had to give my GameCube away, and someone stole my GameCube adapter, so... <laughs> Or my Game Boy adapter, which sucks. Um, but yeah, my favorite one is I think it's called Harmony Despair. I don't know. Like, I th uh, or, there's Harmony Dissonance and there's Harmony of Despair. One of them is a Game Boy title. The other one is a PS3 title that is like a PlayStation uh, Network exclusive game. Um, I'm not supposed to go here yet either. Or am I? Yes, yes I am. 
but the PS3 one isn't like Metroidvania style. I mean, it somewhat is. It, it, it resembles it. But, um, it resembles it even though it is like, it, it's like just one singular like area level, one, one single level. But you could play as like multiple Castlevania characters, you can level them up. Uh, there's DLC where you can play as like the old, like old retro Simon, you could play on an old retro Castlevania stage. And me and Cole will play that on the channel, eventually, when we get the time. Um, it might be sometime soon. I actually think we might even do it maybe tomorrow night, whenever I get to, we can record it tomorrow, um, over the phone and stuff. Um, oh, I need to equip that. Uh, soul set, flying armor, there we go. Um, yeah, this game is going to be somewhat of a walkthrough, like Dark Cloud, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I know too much about Dark, oh, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, if you guys have seen my Dark Cloud series, a lot of the facts that I have, I, I miss, like, I miss word them. I miss word a lot of things that I say sometimes, which is, wow. Okay. Um, usually takes a few hits to kill those guys, but, uh, I usually miss word a lot of things that I say, and it's fine, because, like, honestly, like, who gives a shit? Oh, fuck, okay. Um, oh, fuck, that's right. Okay, let me kill you. There's always a chance I can get your good eye. Ah, fuck, I missed. Okay, uh, I got this. I totally have this. There we go. Come on, give me your fucking dingy guy. I think his, like, lets me shoot a fireball or something like that. Oh, rotten meat is, like, <laughs> awful. Um, but... Yeah, like, you can play through multiple Castlevania characters in, like, Castlevania areas of, like, uh, of olden days, like, or, or even new places, and there's not a story. Uh, can I backdash? Ah, uh, no. There's, like, a weird thing if you can, uh, backdash or something correctly, you can, like, get, gain, like, a couple pixels more height. And sometimes it helps out, other times not really. Um, but yeah, uh, there's actually a lot of glitches. This is a very glitchy game. You can beat this game really fast. I don't know why I ducked like I was going to do something. Um, yeah, like, it's just such a great game. That's, that's, that is, uh, my second favorite Castlevania game. This is, this being my first. Um, so... Me and Cole are actually even making, um... Oh, fuck. Okay. Ah, fuck. Okay. Uh, are making new PSN accounts for the channel. Or we might not. Like, it just depends. You know what? No, we're not. Because if you guys want to add us, go ahead. I don't care. I don't care. We play PS3 a lot, so if you have any games that we sh If we have any games that uh, you guys also have, then you can just fucking add us and we'll play along as long as you're a fun person to play with and not a dick bag <laughs> anyway I'm actually gonna end it right here cuz yeah man this is a wait let me just get this to a good area I think I might make this my wallpaper on my laptop cuz it looks pretty fucking dope